wanted to show you an exercise where it can loosen up your fingers a little bit and help you out with improv if you're playing, um, you know, for whatever uh, occasion, concert or whatever, and you need to add a little bit more time, these little exercises will help you out. This will also help the beginners out. Um, and um, you know the young guys and girls that are trying to get their fingering in place um, just some easy steps to help you guys out all right So today we're going to be working on our chord structure, our C. We're going to start with C, E, G, and then move to our next C, uh, octave. So we're going to do just an open, uh, open chord or a broken chord arpeggio, okay? So we're going to start with C, move to E, G, C. And then when we go back down again, we're going to skip C and we're going to move to E and follow through E, G, C, E. And it's just the same thing. We're going to start with G, move to C, E, G. Now we're back to C on a uh, after seven octaves. So we just move seven octaves to uh, middle C. So now we're going to do the same thing C, E, G, C. We're going to come here to our E, G, C, E. We're going to go to G, C, E, G. And now we're at our next octave, which is C. So basically all we did was C, E, G. The more you practice, the more you get better at it. Just take it really slow. Just start with your pinky and thumb on C. Move to E. Once you get that down, that'll add a little bit more to your um, repertoire as far as uh, improvising and just coming up with different phrases and that sort of thing for your music. Okay?